Hey everyone, it's Luna, and as you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be doing a haul. So I kind of went on a summer shopping spree just because I only have winter clothes, and I'm very excited about everything I got, so let's just get into it. I'm going to start off with Forever 21. So now that I realize, I actually only got shoes from Forever 21, but I'll just show you those. The first pair of shoes are just these black gladiator sandals. They have a buckle on the side, and I actually had black gladiator sandals last summer but they recently broke so I had to invest in a new pair because I wear them with every summer outfit and they just look like this they're not the best quality but they're good to last me a summer so yep I got those what do we have here um okay yeah I got these sandals because everyone needs sandals in summer and they were like two dollars so I got those and then next I got my graduation shoes so I just got these black heels and they look like this they just have a strap at the front and then they have a strap at the ankle and they're pretty high I'd say they're about like four inches three and a half so they are high heels and they are stilettos and I think they're really pretty I am able to somewhat walk in them, so I really hope other people at my school are wearing heels too because I don't want to be the only one that's like 10 feet tall, but these are what they look like and they go perfectly with my black dress and I'm very excited. If you don't know, I'm in 8th grade, so I'm graduating and going into high school next year, so yep, those are the graduation shoes I got. So that is everything I got from Forever 21, moving on to Beacon's Closet. So if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I actually go to Beacon's Closet a lot, and Beacon's Closet is my favorite thrift store, and this time they didn't have much clothing, but I actually found a bathing suit, and I know that sounds kind of nasty, like getting a bathing suit from a thrift store, but... This had tags on it and it still had like a hygiene liner in it so I think I'll be okay and it's a really really nice brand so I couldn't pass up the opportunity. So basically the bathing suit looks like this. This is what the top looks like. It's just a triangle and it has floral on it and I'm not at all a floral girl like I didn't think this was going to be me but when I tried it on I kind of loved it. I loved how it made my skin look and it is actually from Wild Fox so uh, if you don't know, Wild Fox is a very expensive brand. Their products are very good quality and I kind of just love this bathing suit and I'm very excited for summer and it's just so summery and colorful and I'm so excited. Next I kind of have a random item. I got it on the New York City streets in Soho and it's just a denim baseball cap. Denim caps are really in right now and I really hope I can pull it off but you have to have your hair down and like, it just goes like this and... You look gangster. Just kidding. That was lame. I'm like the whitest person I know. And I actually got it for $6, so that's a pretty good price. I'll be getting a lot of use out of this in the summer. Next, I have a random shoe item, but I actually didn't go to the store to buy these. My friend Naomi sold them to me. And they are the Nike Free Fly Knit Shoes. I've been in need of a new workout shoe slash comfy shoe, so they look like this. They have a really stretchy material. It's almost like it's like made out of elastic and they are comfy and i'm a dancer so the most important thing is to take care of your feet because you're constantly on your toes and ruining your feet so i got these because they're cute but they also are comfy so and thank you naomi for selling them to me i wear them all the time and yeah the next place i went to was bergdorf goodman's and I actually went there a long time ago, but I'm showing them now just because I'm absolutely obsessed with these and they're worth every single penny I spent on them. So if you know Bergdorf's, you know that it's like the Blair Waldorf store that everyone has to shop at Bergdorf's and stuff, so it's obviously very expensive. It's like a high class, sell Chanel, Burberry, whatever, but I went in and I tried on these jeans and I was in need of a pair of black jeans and I have not one regret. Okay, so I'm just going to show them to you now that I gave such high expectations, but they are the Rag and Bone Black Jeans. So they are low-waisted, but they're not too low-waisted, so... And for my body, I have a really hard time finding jeans that in the back, like, don't fly off my body. They're, like, tight. Um, so these are, like, one of the only pairs of jeans I've ever had that actually fits me right, so I had to invest in them. 
but I can't tell you how much I love these jeans. They make your butt look so good. I can't tell you how many compliments I've gotten on my butt and that sounds so odd, but everyone comes to me and they'll be like, oh, you've been working on your squats. I was like, no, just rag and bone jeans. <laughs> but yeah, so I got these jeans and I have not one regret, as I said before, but they're just the rag and bone jean line and they have this little like marking right here and this and I'm just absolutely in love and they're also very very long which is great for my legs because I have really long legs hoping that these will fit me for a while so that's perfect the next place I went to was Brandy Melville and I went a little cray and this is because I now work at Brandy Melville so yes you heard that right I work at Brandy Melville and Every time I'm like maintaining the store and like folding the clothes, I fall in love with every single item. It's so dangerous. Cause like every time I'm folding this, I'm like, okay, I need this item. Like spend so much time in that store that I just want everything in the whole entire store. So I got a little bit more than I would if I shopped at Brandy Melville, but let me just get into it. The first item I got was this little striped shirt. It has like light blue, dark blue, gray and white in it and it's not too cropped which is really important right now because every single shirt I have is cropped and I'm so tall that no shirts ever fit me so I finally got this shirt and I think it's really cute and dainty and comfy one number one thing right now is comfy so yep I got that shirt next thing I got I've been literally wearing the last week like every single day and it is this little striped crop top so I don't know if you can see on camera, but it has this really cute like design to it. It kind of goes like across the neck and then the sleeves are such a cute little like three quarter length. I've been absolutely loving this little shirt and it's so soft and I'm in love with this shirt. If you ever see it in Brandy, you will not regret getting it. The next thing from this bag is this little bralette. In the front, it looks like this and it has these little like triangle cutouts right at the top. And the back is so cute, I'm obsessed. It looks like, you can't see that at all, I'll insert a picture, but it has kind of these straps that make an infinity sign. Um, it kind of looks, if you know what a Frankie's bikini looks like, it kind of looks like that. Um, this is really hard, <laughs> I'm struggling, the struggle. But it kind of has like a, if you can see that it has like an infinity sign back um, but it's so cute, it's comfy, and I thought that for shirts that have low backs, this is going to be really cute. The next shirt I got was this little black shirt. Nice loose material. It's kind of shaped like a muscle tee, just with spaghetti straps. And I look really cute with like shorts in the summer and stuff, so I got that. The next item is also something I've been wearing every day. It's this little ribbed white long sleeve crop top. Kind of in the same design as the striped one, but it's just cropped. And the sleeve length is also very cute, and I don't know why, it looks like it's a really basic shirt, but on, it looks so cute. And it doesn't look like it's just a white t-shirt. And the last thing I got from Brandy was by far my favorite thing I got. It was this little crocheted, like, tank top, and it has this really dainty print on it, and just wait, the back is the cutest thing ever. It just connects in one place in the back, and then it has a completely open back. So cute, especially with that bralette. And I love this little shirt. I think it's so cute and so country and so fresh. So that is everything I got from Brandy. And then saving best for last, Topshop. So the first thing I got is kind of basic, but it is this little gray crop top. Ribbed in it to high neck, so it's really cute. And I think it's really nice to wear with like high-waisted shorts. Really cheap, so it just looks like this. And... I thought it would be really cute for summer and it has been very cute so far. And this is the last item in my haul, but certainly not the least. This is by far my favorite thing I got like this whole entire year. I'm so stoked, but let me just show you. I got overalls, yay! So these are just the cutest thing and they are a really, really, really nice denim color. They're super comfy and they fit me perfectly. They don't look too big, they don't look too tight. And I'm absolutely obsessed, I can't tell you enough. These are like comfy, but you're also put together. It's also easy to get dressed. And it's just absolutely perfect. And they were worth every single dollar I spent. And they were by far the best thing I got in this haul.
So I believe that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to let you guys know that everything I bought in this haul was spent with my own money. I recently opened a business and it is called Luna's Closet and it's a website. Basically what I do is sell my old clothes so I can get money to get new clothes. And if you guys want to check it out, I'll link it down below. I just wanted to let you guys know. Alright, that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!